Hello and welcome to Streets of Gotham, an ongoing Blades in the Dark game following a crew of Gotham City rogues. We're playing a simplified version of Blades in the Dark with a special Gotham City playset. I'm your game master and producer, David, he, him. I'm a graphic designer, an illustrator, and a game designer. You can check out my tabletop games over at dbb-8.itch.io. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, at dbrunellbrutman. And now that I've introduced myself, let me introduce our amazing cast of players for this evening. Uh, let's kick it off with, uh, let's say, Maddie. Uh, hello, um, I am Maddie. Um, I go by they, them pronouns, um, and I am an illustrator and MFA student at FIT. I, <laughs> not to plug myself, but I did do the character art for this stream. Um, you can find me online at Cellar Tater um, on Twitter and Instagram, uh, when I, where I sometimes post art when not shackled by crippling anxiety. Um, and I also have a website a portfolio. It's CellarTater.com. Um, go check that out. And tonight I will be playing Ed, your favorite neighborhood criminal turned insurance tech turned freelance hacker dad. All right, let's move it on over to Marcy. Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm Marcy, aka Experimental Madness, which is the username you can find me most places around the internet, except for Twitter, where I intend to remain as the resident cryptid. But in theory, I have a username there, and it is Marciful. Um, I am a writer and an editor uh, of both uh, various genres, fantasy, sci-fi, and most especially romance. Um, and I work for a wonderful company called Radish Fiction, and you should check out all of our cool stories. Uh, and tonight, I am so happy to be back playing uh, Jackie Ripley, a, you know, friendly neighborhood hit woman turned bodyguard, turned just she's had a lot of stuff that she's done over her very, very storied career. Uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to get into it. All right. Uh, we're going to do like a left to right. So let's go down to Pooja. Hey, everybody. I am Pooja. You can find me over on Twitter at Pooja and at Pujabarwaki on all other platforms. My pronouns are she, her, and I am a general uh, TTRPG player and writer and just all around chaos goblin so i'm excited to bring that energy into this tonight and uh i will be playing manny quinn we'll find out more about her later all right and finally hopper ah that's me what's up i'm hopper i use they them pronouns i'm a professional arborist and gm based out of brooklyn new york um you can find me online if you like bad hot takes under fail deadly that's with a three instead of an e because <laughs> i'm a trash person and uh if you want to see the thing other things that i produce when not on this channel with all these lovely people uh you can follow me under the legend tree also on most things that aren't facebook um or and uh we have a twitch channel we do stuff on that it's nerdy check it out uh and tonight i am returning as ollie all right, so with that, let's get into it. <gasps> we open moving down across gothic spires, rain sluicing off roofs and out the mouths of leering gargoyles. In the distance through the storm, we can see the twinkling lights of Gotham City across the bay. We move down past dripping branches of skeletal trees, the dark hulk of old institutional buildings, thin light spilling from arched windows. There's a flash of lightning which illuminates a gate with wrought iron letters reading, Arkham Asylum for the Criminally Insane. The date is October 30th. We cut to the interior of the asylum. We're in a dingy cafeteria lit by flickering fluorescent light. There's concrete tables and chairs bolted to the ground and lightning flashing through barred and gated windows. The inmates, or excuse me, the patients, uh, sit in black and white striped scrubs chatting and eating from plastic trays under the watchful eye 
of armed asylum guards. The four of you are eating dinner together. Let's go around the table. Who do we see? I want to start, let's go in reverse order from the introductions with Ollie. Ollie, who do we see seated in the cafeteria? Important question. How long have we been here? An indeterminate amount of time, somewhere between six months and a year. Oh no. Okay, cool. Um, I think we we see a um, surprise. What what was once a scrawny little, uh, uh, re- relatively androgynous um, uh, getaway driver with lots of tattoos is now a slightly jacked androgynous getaway driver with lots of tattoos. Um, Ollie has basically been just been doing push-ups and wall squats for like this entire time and and uh they uh they've got um their hair has now uh grown out it's fully grown out it's uh, you can see it's kind of a uh mousy brown color um in its natural form and i think uh, i presume we're not allowed to have sunglasses that's why i'm not wearing them right now um because you could stab people with them um, i mean arkham is weird like there's definitely people who get special dispensations to wear their like supervillain outfits because I think they've convinced a psychologist that it would be, you know, more damaging to their mental state not to. So, you know, if you want to call it that you have your sunglasses, I think it would be valid. I'm going to say Ollie has the sunglasses. Um, Maybe they're made of like some unbreakable plastic that cannot be turned into a shank. Yeah, yeah, it's it's they're made out of just like the wibbly wobbliest like baby teething <laughs> rubber and like unbreakable lenses. It's very interesting that you think that they would uh, pay attention to that in Arkham Asylum. That's fair. Life is cheap. Um, yeah, so I think Ollie is sitting there just kind of um, hunched over the food, wolfing it down um, and generally looking very... I don't want to say rabid, but kind of uh, <laughs> just you know, just vaguely feral, vaguely feral, and I think um, threatening in the same way that a high, a high, like a high tensile strength spring that's been compressed is. Like it doesn't seem like that big a deal at first, and then you realize there's like twenty tons of energy stored in that spring, and it will it will rip your arm off if you touch it rough. Yeah, I I like that as a that's a good that's a good metaphor, good imagery. Kind of like car suspension. Kind of like a car suspension. Interesting. Uh All right. So, moving over from Ollie, seated next to Ollie is Manny. Manny, who do we see? Uh your eyeline has to dip down as uh at a whole 52. You have a brown-skinned woman with hair that has also grown out, but you can see uh, what was once a really great blue dye job has tons of dark roots coming out, but you know what? She's rocking it. It's great. And uh, she looks pretty much the same as you last saw her. Um, She's always been physically active, uh, doing circus tricks in a jail cell is not new um and probably looks more content than she has any right to be uh given where they are but she's having a good time uh she does keep reaching for her pocket looking for a phone that's no not there and Mm. uh she's very sad about all the snapchats she's probably missing right now Yeah, that's the true prison is not being with your phone, as we all know. It's true. How do you keep in touch with everybody you know? Moving across the table to the other side, we see Jackie. Jackie, who do we see seated here? Um, Jackie, I think you see you see a average height woman 
wiry framed and I think a lot gaunter than the last time uh, we've seen her. She is eating like a roll of bread because she's no longer allowed to have any utensils because the first week she was in here, she definitely utilized something with a spork that is, we, the, the orderlies just don't talk about it anymore. Uh, we haven't seen uh, one of the attendants uh, since that first week. Who knows where they are? Good Lord. Uh, yeah, it seems that after several uh, attempts over the initial, I think, uh, weeks, months, it's getting hard to keep track of time. Jackie was extremely volatile. Uh, you can still see some of the bruises that are fading from her last fight with a couple of orderlies, but it's definitely been noticed by y'all that the fight has definitely gone out of her. She's just sort of idly picking at her food, not even really eating it, just thousand yards staring at like the the countertop. Uh, Jackie has completely a lost track of time, and you know after failing to try to get all of us out before, I think she's on the verge of completely giving up. Rough stuff for Jackie. All right, and finally, moving over from Jackie, seated beside her, we see one last person at this table. Ed, who do we see here? So, um, just a pretty normal, average guy. Uh, he's like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, um, I guess hair is also probably a little bit uh, grown out. He's, I think, a little bit more well-behaved um than some of his uh crewmates um so he's been allowed you know tools with which to shave so he's got a little bit of a five o'clock shadow um you can see some gray around his temples um and i think he looks uh he looks he kind of has like a nervous sweaty air around him like maybe he's just finished power walking i mean he hasn't but he just kind of has that perpetual like i'm a little bit out of breath <laughs> a vibe um and he's kind of tapping his fingers um on the table uh looking um between jackie manny um and um i almost said hopper <laughs> uh jackie manny and ollie um kind of nervously eyes lingering on jackie um and he's he's he'd probably say something like uh the you know the the grub's not too bad today uh, you should really try it, you know, get some meat on those bones. Um, and his own his own meal is uh, he's he's eaten like half of it. Um, and he's kind of got his head on a swivel just looking around. Yeah, so uh, interesting that you should mention that you're that you do have that head on a swivel because uh, Ed, you start to notice, um, and I, I don't know if Jackie does, but Manny and Ollie probably do. Um, you start to see other patients uh, just sort of scattered around the room, kind of getting up from their tables miscellaneously. And I'm going to need a fortune roll from everybody. Let's use your insight. First roll. Insight? Oh, oh which I have none. Yeah. What is that? I think I have one. <laughs> what is insight? I have so we, are, we are going down your insight column. Uh, if you don't have anything, it's disadvantage. One, baby. All right. Dose. All right. I got a one, a six, and a five. Okay. So with a six, uh, Ed, you absolutely do have your head on a swivel here. Uh but Jackie, uh, narratively appropriately, does not. And so... I don't think she's all there, even. Like, I think she's just sort of... Yeah. Uh, so you probably don't see the thin guy with the white makeup kind of smeared across his face coming up on you with a shiv from mm -hmm. the side until... Mm -hmm. It is coming what? right at you. Already? The guy says, the clown says hello. Oh, God. Uh, what do you do? 
Uh, it's on me? You're about to get stabbed. Oh, uh, I'm gonna suddenly snap out of it and like mechanically try to grab the man's wrist and just break it without even really doing much. That's what I'd yeah, like to do. Absolutely. All right. Uh, action roll. You sound like you are definitely doing skirmish at this yeah. point. Uh, so I have give me an action roll with your notes? skirmish rating. Uh, cool. So you're starting with three. Um, you are. Um, this guy is level one, so you're at level parity. You're all good. Uh, you should not have any harm marked, uh, as you have had plenty of time to recover uh, in this restful asylum. Yeah, I've been uh, but I am going to call well. this. Uh, I'm going to call this a desperate situation because you were actually really not paying attention. Yeah, so you're gonna lose that's a die fair. For I'll that. take it down to two. So I'm trying to decide if I should mark stress this early because <laughs> I got a six. Like, uh, yeah, don't can, even bother because I got a two and a six. Uh, okay, great. Jackie, you, uh, you have uh, this squirrely little guy with white makeup smeared across his face coming up on you with a uh, uh, shiv made out of like a piece of tray, plastic tray that's been like snapped off uh, and you appear to be just staring into the middle distance uh, but you just grab this guy's wrist as he comes in and just snap it back and he screams uh, and goes to the ground uh, writhing in pain dropping the shiv um, we have a clock going now as um, I want to take the shiv and step it like into like the waistband of my pants. Yeah, absolutely. You can totally do that. All right, so we got a clock going now, uh, and you have filled one segment here. Is anybody else here? having incredibly strong deja vu? I do think I'd like to kill this guy because there's nothing oh, there else to do. Uh, all right. Well, we'll get Guess. back to that in a moment. <laughs> Because there's nothing else to do. I mean, Amazing. I might as well. You have five other people coming at you. Okay, you I was going to ask before before we decide there's nothing else to do. Is there other yeah. things to do? Yeah. So, <laughs> so you see five of the patients who have gotten up uh, are also coming at you at the four of you around your table from all sides in all different directions. Uh, Ollie and Manny, uh, you are able to, at least, uh, you're going to be able to try to meet one of the onrushing, uh, one of the onrushing guys. Uh, let's say this is like a big bulky dude, uh, in, and he's got like the sleeves ripped off his scrubs. And you notice that all of the guys that are coming at you very specifically have this white pancake makeup mm. smeared across their faces. Uh, in you know, it looks like that. It looks like maybe at some point during dinner, they just like quietly like wiped some paint into their hands and then just put it all over. Uh, or is and now they're goes. rushing you. Mm. Yeah, you know who can say? Uh, <laughs> who can really say? So, uh, Ollie, oh, what do you want to do here? Um, I think it's actually similar to what we were. I, I think uh, we Ollie imagined all that happening earlier and then is going to th throw many. Yeah, great. All right. I, I so... think this is kind of like a, this is like a reach, grab, and then um, grab into a, into a base of, basically a, I don't know what it's called in um, gymnastics or cheerleading when you uh, launch someone. I felt <laughs> special. <laughs> yeah, this, this, is, this is more, this is more graceful than that. This is more elegant. It's not is just it? yeeting Manny. So I, because I have, I'm imagining I have a proposal basically a for what professional it looks wrestling like. move. So yeah, if you <laughs> grab Manny and give her momentum, she is going to have grabbed a uh, tray and is going to skid on the tray towards this person and then launch into a flip and try to land on their shoulders and use that momentum yeah. to take this giant Beautiful. guy down. Hell oh, yeah. Absolutely. I adore this. Okay, it's so... a well-oiled machine um, over here. Ollie, uh, you <laughs> are Papa kicking... and I throw each other on stream a lot. <laughs> it's, kind, it's kind of our jam. It's yeah. our jam. <laughs> we just you go back and forth between character bearings. <laughs> Who's the smaller one? <laughs> you have a system, and, you're, and it works, and you're sticking to it. <laughs> so, uh, Hopper, uh, you were you were using a move, correct? 
I um I was I was implying that I was going to be using uh, lightning reflexes to which act is fast. to act first. Okay, great. So yeah. you're so you're acting first in this situation, and it, you're, and, you're and definitely able to do all this before what I'm choosing to do this guy gets to you. And what you're choosing to do is help. Mechanically. So yeah. So mm -hmm. pay one stress. You're kicking a die over to Manny. Manny, uh, it sounds like you are doing maneuver here. Uh, so you have your maneuver rating to start. You're up one for um, Ollie's assist. Um, and I think everything else is flat. So you can get okay. more dice if you want. Um, but uh, yeah, you're, you're up pretty good right now. Let's take it easy. Yeah, I, I don't actually have enough dice out here. So I'm going to have to reroll some of them. Because I only brought two sets to Canada. <laughs> Okay, okay, well, thank God uh, for that reroll, because I got a five on the reroll, and I had two ones on the first two. Okay. Not mixed, the reroll, but the third roll. Yeah. Mixed success here. So you are absolutely going to take this guy down, but he's going to do some damage while you're doing it. So That's okay. You will fill another segment on this clock. Uh, so you go barreling into this guy. You sort of grab. Are you like grappling his neck with your legs? Is it one with of those? my thighs? Absolutely. Yeah, great. So you grapple his neck with your legs. You bring the tray down. Um, but as you are going down, he sort of like suplexes you uh, <laughs> over his back. Uh, oh. And he goes down in one direction, and you go slamming into a concrete table. Uh, I am going to have Ow. two, uh, one box of level two harm coming in your direction. Um, can I ro ha do you I can roll resist. to resist? Yes. yes. If you would like to resist this, uh, I, 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 I would this like to prowess, prowess my way out of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, give so me do a I roll the verticals, or how does this work? Yep. So roll down the column for prowess. Okay, you know, I'm gonna roll. We're doing a dice roller now, which is good because it's a six, five, four. Okay, with a six, stress-free. Uh, this is just gonna go down to one level one harm. Excellent, alrighty. All so right. I think Ma Maddie's gonna kind of like, I mean, she's learned how to take falls in uh, with a lot of gymnastics training and stuff, so she, yeah. It hurts, but not as bad as it could have hurt. Yeah, so it looks nasty, but we can see that as you, you, your back like slams into this table, you sort of roll and recover. Roll into um, it, yeah. You're, you're gonna be up in a second. Ed, uh, there, are, there are a number of thugs uh, coming at you from all directions. Uh, what are you doing at this point? Um... Yeah, uh, besides shitting my pants, um, <laughs> uh, I think Ed's like, you know, putting his hands up and he's like, yeah, I'm just a guy. I don't, uh, I'm just a guy. I'm just here. I don't know what's going on. Um, but is there like a toaster or some other like gadget, like some other cooking kind of propeller sort of like thing? Uh, <laughs> I don't think they would allow you access to a toaster in this immediate area. If you would like to try to get into the adjacent kitchen to the cafeteria, you can certainly do that. But uh, the window there is uh, very much a... There's a, a window with um, sort of a metal grate right like a see-through mm -hmm. grate over it and a small slot at the bottom where uh like the cafeteria staff can pass trays out to the inmates um but if you can think of some way to get through there into that kitchen then there are certainly things like uh toasters back there hmm. um Okay. But right now, you absolutely have uh, a guy in striped scrubs coming at you with, uh, in I think uh, Jackie style, a a spork. Oh, good. Uh, okay. Oh, geez. Um, I want to. Okay. Here's here's what I want to say very specifically. This guy has taken uh, three sporks and put them uh, between his fingers with the sharp points out to form uh, spork knuckles. 
Yeah. Yeah. He, he's the sporkerine. Yeah, he's I the think... sporkerine. Yeah, but there it is. Uh, that is uh, an original character. <laughs> wow, uh, I'm writing that down. Actually, we've um, already we've already got a multi-universe crossover, and we're we're not even one session in. We're doing great. So um, the Sporkerine is coming at you. Okay, can Ed? He says uh, it's Sporkerine up... time, bub. Uh, I think the name uh, needs a little work, but you know you're getting there. I see what you're going for. Um, so. <laughs> Could I uh, pick up uh, Jackie's untouched tray of food and try to fling it into his face while also uh, kind of using it to block the spork yes. knuckles? Yes, the, absolutely. The uh, I think this is this is this feels like a maneuver to me because you're doing kind of a quick defend here, yeah, so yeah. it's it's sort of reflex based. So start oh. with your maneuver. Okay, um, so you know, levels are flat, that. Uh, and you are down one for a desperate situation. Okay, so, so I think you're I'm starting out with disadvantage. If okay. you want to, you can always push yourself to get more dice. You can, of course, in this game, always take a devil's bargain. What's the devil's bargain? Uh, I think the, the most obvious devil's bargain here is um, somebody else is going to get hurt. Oh, oh, no, I can't, I can't do it. Uh, right. I wouldn't risk hurting his, uh, his, his crew. Um, all right, disadvantage. Oh, yeah, that's a three and a one, baby. Oof, a one. Okay, you bring this tray up, and, uh, this guy, he's a, he's a, a short dude, but he is very well muscled and really hairy. And he just punches through the tray, Ed, uh, and just clocks you in the face with these sporks. Uh, you are going to have, uh, I think this is going to be a little nasty. Uh, you're going to have um, two, uh, two boxes of level two harm coming at you. Oh, this is shit. the first game. So this wait, is the so first that means session, David. You're gonna spork our dad that early? That means four. I fill out four boxes. No, usually... you're filling out both level two, unless you would like to roll to resist. Oh, sorry, I was yelling in, on mute. Roll to resist. <laughs> okay, I'll roll to resist. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is absolutely resist with prowess. Uh, so look down your prowess column. Yep. And okay. roll with disadvantage. <laughs> Okay. Uh, ooh. uh says, says a four with disadvantage. Okay, that's pretty good. So uh, six stress minus the highest result to avoid or reduce the consequence. So Wait, two only, stress. That's, too, that's not too and bad. And we're knocking this down to two boxes of level one harm. Okay. Um, so these sporks hit you in the face, oh. uh, and they are certainly going to bruise, but uh, and scratch a little bit, but they are not going to break skin. But you do go flying back uh, across the table, scattering trays and food everywhere. Uh, there's you know bits of corn and meatloaf or whatever uh, stuck to your black and white scrubs at this point. Um, and, I'll be feeling that in the morning. <laughs> and this guy uh, is pressing his attack, uh, and he's going to leap over and up onto the table and try to bear down on you with another strike. Ed, or anybody else at this point, what yeah. do you do? Um, I see Ed get clocked. <sighs> uh, <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, I'm, there, there, there's, there's this predatory energy that's now radiating from Jackie, but I think still with the same sort of like languid, not really there movement. Uh, Jackie pockets the shiv from the guy whose wrist she just obliterated, and just almost very casually, I think, is just going to take two steps like up onto the cafeteria table. And just, again, with the same lazy attitude, just try to break this guy's neck before he can try to get on top of Ed. Good God. 
Okay. Uh, so fine. Watch out, he's got his sporkerine. <laughs> he's got sporks. Watch out. Awesome blood. <laughs> All right. Uh, sounds like you are rolling for a skirmish. Uh, yeah. You are what flat I do. to. Uh, you're you're not any. You're not down any dice. Yeah, it's so gonna be three. You can uh, pump it up by pushing yourself or uh, taking a devil's bargain. I've already got three on him. I think Jack is just gonna. Three is good. I, I'd roll it if I were yeah, you. Yeah, she, she's not. <laughs> listen, I am. I am mere. I am merely here to offer. No, yeah, like what she, is she's, available. she's 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 starting to get a little bit pissed because Ed got attacked. She doesn't really care that she did, but yeah. now it's personal. Okay, let's see. I also <laughs> okay. Uh, a six, a five, and a four. <laughs> okay, nice. yeah, six will do it without uh, consequences for you. Uh, <laughs> cool. So, uh, what does it look like? I I think you may be intending to murder this guy. Yes. We are not <laughs> at the point yet where murder is directly on the table. Fair. Uh, given given what resources you have and the situation that you have been in, but how do you how do you take him out? Uh, how, how do you remove him from play? Uh, I think in this case, uh, Jackie, again, like, lazily just, like, changes direction from the guy on the ground, takes two steps, one onto the seat of the of the cafeteria, like, bench, and then one up onto the tabletop where the guy is trying to jump from. And uh, I think it's just going to, like, one arm around, like, uh, neck and, and uh, like, chest, grab uh, the one hand and just sort of like spin him and then just slam his face down onto the table. Yeah, and there is just a crunch as the face hits the concrete uh, and this guy is out. You have defeated the sporkerine. Congratulations. And again, I don't even, there's like no change in her expression. She's just like deadpan yeah. and is like like acknowledges like gives you a look at like that clearly reads like you're you good before she uh, just turns uh, away uh sorry I, I i spilled your food uh jackie i know you were you were gonna eat that way she just gives you a thumbs up and is already making her way down to whatever poor sucker is gonna enter her path next all right uh, Speaking of poor suckers. Yeah, yeah, Manny and Ollie. Uh, so, Manny, you have just recovered, uh, and the two of you are sort of off to the other side of the table, uh, and you have two uh, very athletic-looking inmates, uh, uh, we'll say uh, a man and a woman, uh, who are rushing at you from different directions, and they both kind of leap into the air at the same time uh, and extend their legs for uh, a couple of just big kicks. What do you uh, do? Manny's gonna stop, drop, and roll. Yep, great. Uh, so she wants to roll under these leaping attackers uh, come up on the other side and de- deliver her own giant kick to the middle of their back. Great. Uh, okay, so sounds like we're looking at another maneuver for you here. So start with your maneuver. Um, yeah. As there is a uh, definite incoming danger here, this is going to be a desperate situation, so you're down one. Okay. Well, that's good, because I rolled one dice and it's a six. Okay, great. That'll do it. Uh, so, what does it look like as you take one of these uh, incoming attackers out trying to do a flying kick in your direction? So, as this person comes during a flying kick, they may not realize that uh, uh, Manny, at one point in our childhood, watched a troop called the Flying Graysons and really stuck in her little noggin and so she uh she was rolling off that table anyway so she falls to the ground rolls down um but you know turns that roll onto the ground right up into into momentum to stand back up and just like flat out spark like this is sparta kicks the (laughs) leaping person in the middle of the spine causing them to arch 
in a way that should not be really possible yeah. as they go flying onto their direction changes and they go flying and crashing onto the very table that uh, almost hurt Manny earlier. Yep. Uh, and they just go crash rolling over the table. Uh, Ollie, you have the other attacker coming in the other direction. What do you do? I'm going to roll my dice before you t- I tell you how efficiently Ollie is able to. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to so try pick to an action them. for starters. I will be. Uh, I will. The be way the game works is you tell me heart. what to do, or I, you tell me what I just you are don't, doing. I can't give a good description until I know whether I suck or not. Um, You're attempting to grab. I'm attempting to grab. Okay. Great. Yeet and slam. Okay. So uh, grab. I yeet, think slam. you could give me an argument for maneuver or for skirmish here. Oh, if I can take maneuver, I will absolutely do maneuver. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm basically picturing kind of like an Aikido throw. Um, so this is less right. Like, They're this coming is less at about you, like, and you're going to like move them sort of yeah. over and out of the way. Yeah, like or using the yeah. They're doing this all this fancy bullshit, and I'm just like, ignore it. <laughs> yeah, and you can do that over there with your face to the ground, sir. <laughs> Yep. Um, Great. Uh, Okay. So uh, desperate situation. So maneuver and you're down one. Do you want to push yourself? Take a doubles bargain? Anything like that? um, Ask somebody for assistance. Uh, I think the devil's bargain is you throw this person into uh, one of your allies here. Oh my god! Can it be Ed? Ed's like like you do not get to choose which one. Standing up. No, I can't risk our dad being injured. Oh, but it'd be so funny. <laughs> no, 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 not not the precious. Um, yeah, actually, can if I ask for help, um, I think Ollie just uh, can Ollie like mi- Jackie's heading back over right now. You can have I- a second to like shout somebody's name. Yeah, I'm right there. Awesome. If you need me. Yeah. Because we're on the same side of the room. That's true, but I can throw this person to Jackie. Oh. Is... <laughs> just, Ed, just chuck him over to me. I'm just going to ground slam him. Yeah, and Jackie can do the final slam. I think slam. she's like, yo, Jackie! And like, um, and tries to throw. Okay, okay. so I Jackie. Oh, man, I hope this works. If you want to pay one stress, you can assist and kick uh, uh, one actually, die over to Ollie. I have a, a, a special skill that's a, that's called I've Got You, where I can ignore stress to help you, but I do have to talk you through it. So since Jackie isn't talking yeah, that much, yeah. I do think she can gesture with like what kind of pitch she wants you to give her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you call the pitch. You do some hand signals. Yeah. Soft, and, uh, you know, softball and you call the pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knuckleball. Great. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Ollie, you are you're down one, but you're up one. All right, I'm rolling two. Oops. Oh, my sweet summer child. That's a six and a one. Yes. <laughs> Technically, it's a Full six spread. and a one. Oh, All right. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay. Uh, Ollie and Jackie, what does this look like? As you slam, line, line this, it up, line it up for me. This other, I think this is a uh, uh, big dramatic on-cover. kick comes in. Um, we see Manny off to one side, Barry just so efficiently doing some shenanigans, mm-hmm. and I think it's just we just see Ollie kind of plant feet, um, grab said incoming kick, and full on like swing, uh, like 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 this person, like this weird little clown man as a bat. Um, and throw throw uh, throw throw them to Jackie, um, midair. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Uh, yeah, I think Jackie catches them almost like by the collar and just effortlessly turns around because she was walking away from the cafeteria table. I think she's going to use the edge of the cafeteria table to just break this guy's nose and hopefully knock him out. Yep, and you just—it's just like one fluid you motion. Just slam them you down. And- yeah. Uh, you just slam them down. But as you do that, uh, the last of these attackers, uh, Jackie, who's this very slight, slender woman, again with the uh, with the white makeup smeared uh, around the face. Uh, I think she's gone like kind of heavy in the in the sort of eye pits uh, with some dark uh, with some dark contrast there. Uh, whips over your neck 
with some sort of wire that she's pulled out of nowhere, some sort of improvised uh, garage. What do oh, you shit. or anybody else do? Well, I'm going to be trying to twist out of that. Yeah. For uh, sure. All right. So uh, sounds like a maneuver uh, yeah, to me. Yeah, I've got so one in that. Start with your maneuver. You're down one desperate situation. Can I Woo! help? Yeah. What do you do? Uh, since my person has, a, I'm assuming, being dealt with, uh, I'm going to grab yep. that tray that was on the ground near me and frisbee throw it at uh the garroter hell yeah i Great. love that so pay one stress uh you kick an assist over to jackie jackie you are down one but you're up one okay that's good because i only have one in maneuver okay you can always push yourself i think i might yeah i think uh now feeling the wire cutting into my skin is triggering my actual like instinct to survive <laughs> yeah totally uh so yeah i will happily push myself all right two stress and you have another die all right Ooh, a two and a four two and a four okay uh four uh we're gonna call it a mixed success uh, so you are going to get out of this, but not without injury. Um, so Jackie, uh, you feel the, this wire slip over your throat uh, and suddenly somebody is pulling you back sort of off of the table here. Uh, and uh, you know, you can feel the wire like cutting into your neck. Uh, you have uh, one level two harm Oof. coming at you as you are uh, as you are starting to get pulled off the table by this wire and by your neck um, but then out of nowhere from across the room bam uh, smack uh, you hear the clunk of plastic hitting head uh, as, the, as this tray that Manny has thrown contacts your attacker's skull uh, and she releases her grip just long enough for you to wriggle out. I think there's just some blood now mixing in with that black and white of the of the inmate's uniform that she's wearing and she just has a hand up and she just sort of swipes it across. Um uh, Ooh, this this poor sucker. I do think uh, Jackie's going to want to harm them. Yeah. Uh, how are you going to do that? With my fists. Great. Now, yeah, we made that one real personal. All right. Uh, then we are just flipping right over to a uh, skirmish roll, it sounds like. Yeah, I'm just going to beat her up. Great. <laughs> the old-fashioned right. way. Uh, roll your skirmish. You're not right, down any dice. Nope. Uh, you can push yourself if you want. Now I got three already. I think you might be okay. Yeah, that's a uh, five and a three and a two. So five being the highest. Okay, five is the highest. So uh, we are going to trade harm here then. Uh, so you get into it with her. Uh, you are going to be able to take her out. What does this look like? Um... So Jackie sometimes, I mean, in the before times of all of this, it's known that if you get her too riled up in a fight, sometimes she just loses herself. And while well, she was already not all together here, that was a very different thing. Um, now she's bleeding, and I think some awareness of her surroundings has come back into her. So she is just going to wail on this person. Um, I mean, just is like raining hit after hit after hit after hit um, as if she was, you know, if, if, as if this poor woman was all of the attackers at once put together. Yeah. Uh, um, as if the I adrenaline just sort of exploded out of her in this moment. Uh, and I think that's actually what injures you. She doesn't hurt you again. You hurt you. Yeah, uh, oh, that's very accurate, isn't it? <laughs> you, you just, you turn on her and you are just slamming your fists into her. You are basically pounding her into the floor um, and with no regard for, like, the condition of the bones no in your no own self hands. Uh, and yeah, you're going to have uh, one level one harm. Uh, I'm not even going to resist that. That from, feels too from accurate. just slamming your, your fists uh, into this, the last yeah. of these attackers until she is down. That fills the clock, uh, and it is at this point, uh, this has only been a couple of seconds. So basically, 
the uh, in the time that this group has jumped the four of you and you have taken them out, uh, the guards around the room have barely even had time to react. They have like just whipped out their their stun batons and just started to approach like the edges of the fracas. Uh, and you know, if you were paying attention, uh, you could have heard. Uh, any of them talking into their their radios calling for backup um and uh, i think at this point uh as as they sort of close in on you and one of them is like all right all right come on everybody break it up break it up that's enough uh and there is a uh from the security door at one end of the cafeteria which chunks open uh, and in strides the Meg, uh, who is one of the chief guards here at Arkham Asylum, a absolute unit unit of a woman, uh, just the most massive lady you've ever seen, with uh, a grin ear to ear of uh, I. Okay, do we think that her teeth are literally sharpened, or are they, yes. do they just give the impression of being sharpened? Might I suggest that she has either braces or dentures? Oh. I think you have to get close enough to find out. Yeah. She has, a, you don't want she to. has like a grill. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She has like a, yeah, like, like a very aggressive grill. I'm so in love with this woman. <laughs> uh, the Meg is rumored to uh, have uh, some sort of on-again, off-again relationship with one King Shark. Uh, that is that is sort of the main thing that you know about her uh, beyond her absolutely time. terrifying demeanor. Uh, <laughs> if you're on her good side, you're good. If you're not on her good side, you are very not good. Uh, and the Meg strides into the room. All right, that's enough, everybody. That's enough. And uh, she and the other guards and a bunch of orderlies who rush in behind her start grabbing all of you. Um, they they you know put, sort of put you in in arm locks, um, and uh, they are starting to drag you out of the cafeteria. You can see some of the orderlies are rushing in uh, to like check on the status of the. Uh, the attackers that who you have just destroyed in this cafeteria. The other patients who are eating dinner are all like huddled around the back wall. Uh, they have moved out of the fucking way. Uh, and you hear like orderlies calling, we're gonna need stretchers in here. We're gonna need five stretchers, six stretchers. It, it's not our fault, darling. They forgot to contour. <laughs> Uh, and the Meg, who is dragging you, Manny, away, uh, is like, Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. You can talk to me about it later, sweetheart. Right now, you are going back to the dormitory. That goes for all of you, everybody. You're going back. Could I get a stretcher, please? <laughs> I'm not feeling so good. <laughs> Make that seven stretches! Can Ollie snag Thank one of the you, sporks the Meg. the spork -arine? Yeah, uh, you need to be sneaky about this. So yes. we are looking at a little prowl roll here uh, mm -hmm. to just uh, do do a little 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 bit of sneak sneak. Um, I think you are now against the guards uh, and their watchful eyes. They are level two, um, so you're down one for level disparity with your prowl. I will push myself to keep that my singular dice can i also uh can i could i say that ed um maybe saw ollie making moves uh for this towards this and uh the request for a stretcher is also an attempt to cover for them Ooh, cool okay so you're you're making a are little you, bit are of you swooning to distract <laughs> A, a yeah, plus and it's Love Ed's it. hottest swoon <laughs> i'm not feeling too good oh all right, so mark one oh. stress. Ollie, you're up another die. Okay. Um, I can't push and receive help, right? Yes, you can. Oh, damn. You can I do both. Still, let's do that then. 
You just got to pay the stress cost for health. You yes. can't uh, push and get a devil's bargain. All Those right. two are mutually right. exclusive. I have a feeling a spark. That's a five and a one. Well, technically a fuck, but okay. We're rolling a lot of fucks tonight, folks. It's not looking good. Um. So you get the spork, oh, but there's a consequence. That aren't familiar. I'm talking about actual dice. Um, that, 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 they're not like fuck dice. They're <laughs> dice that have fuck on them. Necessary Porque clarification. No Thank you. Thank you for the clarification, Hopper. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> um. All right. So uh, I, uh, I I'm I'm just gonna throw throw some harm at you. Um, for this, you, uh, you know, you sort of grab the spork, uh, and the, the guard doesn't see you get it, but sees you moving in a direction that he does not want you to be moving in, uh, and is going to jab you with, uh, with his stun baton before he grabs you for, uh, so one I level think one harm. Ollie does a dramatic fall after the stun uh, the stun baton and kind of stumbles and then hand covering one of the sporks from the sporkerine. <laughs> um, yeah, come on, pal. Just wrong direction, buddy. Come on. And yeah, 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 the guard yeah, yeah. hauls you. you hauls you up, uh, and the four of you are dragged from the cafeteria through the security doors. So, you are back in your dormitories uh, sometime later that evening. Each of you has a small padded room in the medium security wing. Uh, You have a bed, you have a toilet, you have a desk bolted to the wall. You have a grungy barred window looking out over the asylum grounds. We are going to take a quick downtime. So uh, can everybody tell me what you are doing back in your little cell uh, to recuperate and de-stress after this fight? Let's let's start with um, Jackie. Yeah, huh. Um, I think she struggled on the way uh, before being thrown into her cell, just given that her adrenaline finally uh, was was roused. And now that she's back in the cell, she is, uh, the best way I can describe her is caged tiger for sure. Um, I think she's doing a lot of pacing, punching the padded walls uh, as much as that hurts. Uh, and calms down only when she feels something sharp poking into her hip and then moves uh, the the shirt of her uh, inmate's uniform up to see the shiv that's still in her waistband that she took off of the guy who first attacked her. And uh, there's a little... You got a knife. I got a knife. And uh, she just rolls the shirt back down She's a little paranoid. She has no idea if there are cameras everywhere. Um, And I think that brings her a sense of calm again, as you know, it's not worked. Uh, Leaving feels impossible, but she has another shot at it again. So she's gonna hold on to it. And I think that sort of, you know, I think she she is able to, she comes back down, but isn't, uh, it's still not 100% all there. This yeah. is a very different Jackie, uh, having spent a few months to a year trapped in here. All right. Uh, cool. So clear your stress. Okay. And give me a fortune roll. Um, I think, let's say this is with your prowess, um, because right. you are using the comfort of this physical weapon which you have acquired. That feels prowessy to me, right? Yeah, that's going to be three. Okay, a four and two twos. Okay. Uh, All right, a four. So mixed success. We'll keep that in mind going forward. Uh, 
I'm assuming injury is not going to get moved down in this downtime. Uh, so you are able to recuperate. Uh, you can reduce all of your marked harm down one severity level. I have something called, it's just a scratch, which means everything gets to move down an additional one for free. Okay, do it. So that means I think I clear everything. So I don't have any severity three. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, now I have a cool healing cut across my neck. That's great. That's yeah. That's going to scar was, later. It, it looked worse than it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, going over to Ollie, what are you doing to, uh, to blow off some steam back in your cell? I think Ollie is, one might think that they're meditating, um, but they are kind of doing whatever the opposite of meditating is, like, uh, just... Sitting there, breathing very calmly, and their blood pressure is through the goddamn roof. Um, I think it's uh, this is this is just forcibly memorizing everything that's happened, everything that they saw, and just kind of making sure that they're that like this. This cannot be allowed to stand. They are planning a breakout, and they're gonna find a fit way out someday, someday soon, any day now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think this is like, this has kind of become almost a stimming, like, um, very ritualistic, uh, I'm back in my cell and this is what happened from A to B to C to D to, th- uh, to three to four to five to six, and now I'm back at the cell and memorizing. It is, it's super healthy. It's definitely not, definitely not at all unhealthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. You're mm-hmm. great. Yeah. All right. Clear your stress. Uh, Let's have a fortune roll. Um, I think you are... Sounds like you're trying to kind of use resolve. So let's let's have a fortune roll from you with your resolve column. I've got a single pip and a tune. So um, that is a four. All right, four. Another mixed success. We'll file that one away as well. Uh, And if you have harm you can take that down one to recuperate i believe that was just one severity one harm from the zappy stick that goes away crazy going on over to manny manny what are you doing back in your cell well i first have a very important question yes where's my wife yeah that's a great question so, uh, you have been in here with Harley Quinn uh, the entire time that you have been in Arkham. However, okay. Harley is considered a much more dangerous uh, patient than you are. Um, you know, you can hash that out between the two of you later. I, <laughs> I, I don't know if uh, I don't know what that means to your relationship. We can work on that. Oh no, Manny future. insists Harley is the bigger threat. Um, so it's always you, baby. <laughs> what a what a supportive partner. So good, so good. So uh, Harley is actually kept in a different building on Arkham Island. She is kept in the high security building. Um, you are allowed to see her uh, periodically for uh, sort of supervised visits, um, which take place on a uh, on a regular basis. Um, but she was not at dinner with you uh, mm-hmm. because she is not uh, she does not have the privileges to be let into the medium security building for dinner like you do. That is fair. Um, yeah. But now we understand why of everybody here, Manny's doing the best because <laughs> she gets to see her wife semi-regularly. So what Manny is doing to clear stress is probably what she does fairly often here, which is a uh, she's probably in the middle of a yoga flow, you know, just doing some headstands, some breathing, just some achieving inner peace shit. It's a good time. Great. Uh, clear your stress. She wants her wife to see her do well. Yeah. Don't don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, 
So clear your stress uh, and give me a roll. Uh, this, I think, for... I don't know. Uh, I think you could make a, a an argument for insight or prowess. I'm going to say prowess. Yeah, I would like that much better anyway. Yeah, give me a fortune roll with your prowess rating. That's a two, three, and a four. Ooh, We're rolling four. some fours today. Everybody's it's getting a fours. Four. What does this that is, mean? This is very interesting. Uh, I'm making a note. I feel like there's a for sure <laughs> joke here. So oh, scared. No, I am so threatened by what <laughs> David's got coming for us. Why? It's always a threat when the when the DM's Why? like, hmm, "Thank you, I'll file that away." <laughs> I'm always out of that. Listen, David will I'm on that. your side here. We're all mm. on the same team. Uh, and Manny, you can recuperate. Uh, you can take all of your harm down one level. Sweet. This isn't clear stress, right? Just harm. You you did clear stress, yes. Oh, clear stress too. Okay, yeah. Because I only I only also had one harm because I resisted it. So yeah. So during downtime, you can uh, take two separate actions: okay. one to clear stress, one to uh, recuperate and uh, clear some harm. I feel like the stretching is probably helping with the, you know, having your back slammed onto a table thing. Just probably doing some yes. Thoracic movement, T spine stretches, you know. Yeah, I, I would say so. Finally we come to Ed. Ed, you are back in the in the dormitory. Um Ed, I think you've described yourself as particularly well behaved. Yes. Are you in a different dormitory? Are you in the low security wing? Um, if that's, I feel like that might make sense, especially because um, in my bio, I have written that um, Ed was very long ago a member of the GCPD Cyber Crimes Division. Yeah. And I wonder if there's a little bit of like, ex-cop privilege going on there you know God. um yeah maybe oh, good. you know well behaved you know dad you know very white uh ex-cop like uh he's not gonna be any trouble we'll put him in the low security wing okay so ed you're in the low security wing uh which is the vibe is slightly less prison cell a little more bare bones like college dorm uh you know you're you're in more of a like everybody else has uh these padded rooms where all the furniture is bolted down you have a cinder block room with uh some like blocky institutional wooden furniture uh around uh, i don't think it's that much bigger but uh it's uh a little less overtly prison-like. So what are you doing back in your little uh, locked room, Ed? So I think the first thing Ed does is wait for the steps of the guards to fade away, and then he uh, sort of dives underneath his mattress and pulls out um, a very small wooden sextant that he's made out of, like, the like a part of the furniture that like maybe is up against the wall that they wouldn't see. And he checks the time because he wants to know exactly how many days and how many hours it's been since he last got to see or speak to his, um, his children, um, specifically his youngest adopted daughter. Um, so he checks the time uh, kind of like religiously. And then I think goes through his sort of ritual, which is clean any wounds, you know, splash water on his face, um, and then sit down on the bed and close his eyes and listen to the routine of the prison. You know, um, what information can he glean? Like the comings and goings of the guards, who's friends with who, um, any knowledge he can overhear, um, he files that away. Um, and then sort of just leans his bruised face up against the cool cinder block wall, trying to sort of ice it if he can. Yeah. Uh, all right. Clear your stress. Uh, and let's have a fortune roll. Uh, and I think this is definitely with your insight. Big numbies. <laughs> okay. Ugh, not big numbies. So that's two threes and a one. <laughs> okay. 
I. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ugh. Three. Okay. So that's that's bad. Um, uh oh. We'll we'll see how bad later. <laughs> I'm Don't sure worry about it'll it. be fine. Uh, Ed. Um. So you uh, you check the time uh with your with your improvised uh uh time device here um and you realize that it is october 30th and tomorrow you have scheduled uh isabel is bringing your stepdaughter mila for visitation hours tomorrow so you have that to to look forward to uh, I think Ed smiles um, and then winces. Oh, and and is kind of sad. He's like, he's like, of course, of course this happens right before Isabel comes to visit. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can. I should have tried to swipe some make off off makeup off those clowns. Uh. And Ed, as you're you're kind of like talking this out uh, in your head, aloud, who's to say? Uh, you hear from, as your head is pressed against the, the cinder blocks here, uh, you hear a buzz and like a chime of a phone. Like it, in the wall? It seems to be becoming. It seems to be coming from uh, behind the head, the uh, headboard of the bed. I'm just gonna take a little, little peek. Uh, yeah. Make sure nobody's looking. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you you look down there uh, and you see a cell phone. You see a uh, a smartphone. Uh, Jackpot. On the ground uh, that has been wedged between the, your bed and the wall. And it appears the screen is lit up. There's a text. What's the lock screen photo? <laughs> it's blank. Uh, I, I, I pick it up and, and look at the text. The text says, You're in danger. Time to leave. Meet me at the other end of the bridge tomorrow night. And it is signed, C. Uh, Arla, uh, Mary, uh, Catherine, Cat. Okay. All right. We just might be in, uh, wait, I, wait, I can text back. I can do that. Manny's been teaching me. <laughs> um, I just text a cat emoji. A black cat emoji. You text that back? Somewhere in a headstand, Manny smiles, proud. <laughs> and you sit and you wait for a reply. So, the storm continued through the night and into the dreary morning of the next day. Rain still pouring onto the roofs of the asylum buildings. Where do the four of you meet to talk when you meet? Probably in the mess hall, right? Um, or unless there's like, I mean, if I'm in the low security, I don't really know. Like, maybe there's a like some sort of outdoor. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say like, but uh, there's wouldn't... like a, 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 a like a fence in between, you know, where uh, you know I can kind of lean up and we can chat or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if you normally meet outdoors, it is pouring rain and thundering out. Yeah, it's Gotham. So just know that. It's it's like Seattle. Everybody's just used to. Here's the, the thing: Do they let us it. out when it's pouring rain? I mean, I I think they would probably not, as a matter of course. But that's if what you, I think too. Yeah, if you so, what if there's like an indoor? Oh, what if there's or, an indoor or, rec room or oh, something like a, that like we a, use in uh, place of that yeah. when we can't like do gym, outdoor time? The gym. 
Because I wonder, yeah, yeah. Over when you I'm have indoor wonder, recess. Yeah, I, I yeah. would wonder if like the mid to low uh, residents uh, maybe have the shared gym. Yeah. Okay. I, I can see that. Cool. And so, oh, well, because otherwise, I was gonna suggest, what if we all somehow got put on the same like, if if we are deemed to be functional enough to be working, we could be <laughs> in the same job. Like we could all be yeah, doing laundry. That's also an option. True. I yeah. really you know, work like, is good for uh, mental rehabilitation. Mm-hmm. I really like the so Arkham. The traditional Arkham facility is based on a super old building. And may I make a pitch for the recreation area? Yeah. That yeah. is, sure. um, it is in a courtyard that was originally a much, much, much nicer courtyard. So Outside um, again. Why do you keep putting yourselves outside? Wait, l- wait for it. Wait for it. Um, so there, uh, so there, it, this is the outdoor recreation area, but there is a perimeter, um, like a little walk around of this area. Oh, like an arcade. That would probably yeah. be a like that was probably a garden or something, and they're they've converted the balconies and like the really beautiful architecture into like guard posts, um, so you can hang out with the rain coming pouring down in this muddy yard that used to be beautiful while we're leaning up against. Uh, you just want an emo background, like don't it. you? You're fucking right, I do. <laughs> I mean, I was suggesting we'd be outside for your sake too, Ollie. <laughs> yeah, like I just look. Inside sucks. All right, so you are uh, you are in uh, you meet an, in the arcade that is around this uh, this courtyard. Uh, these sort of you know crumbling stone arches and colonnades. Uh, the courtyard is just a muddy, scrubby mess of brambles and scraggly trees. Uh, and the uh, the guards are, of course, overlooking the entire area, but you are, at least for right now, free to mill about as you will. And the four of you meet in uh, one of the corners of this colonnade uh, as the, the rain is just pouring down uh, just a few feet away. Uh, and the rumble of thunder sort of washes over you periodically. It's that fucking Gotham energy, baby! (laughs) So, uh, I think you might have some things to talk about this morning. Uh, so, how's everybody feeling? Uh, uh, how's the sort of throat cut and your, your manny your ankle oh i'm uh i'm a lot better uh i stretched it out i feel a little sore this morning but i'm sure it'll go away with time uh yeah yeah so uh i got i think i got a text from from catwoman um <clears throat> uh say what now jackie well, I- immediately like leans like she was leaning against the wall like half listening and now all of a sudden she's like hmm uh, yeah, so I, uh, I found a foam behind my bed, um, and, uh... Do you have it on you? Uh, I mean, yeah, it'll just take me a second. Just, just everybody turn around, okay? Um, Ed does some maneuvering. <laughs> um... Ed. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, no, I'm kidding. I don't want to touch that. I was, I was gonna try to see what was going on in the world, but I don't want to oh, see I, that. Look, I, it's, it's fine. I wrapped it in toilet. Paper. No, 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 no. No, uh, no. That's all yours. Okay, so it says, uh, uh, um, you're in danger. Time to leave. Meet me at the other end of the bridge tomorrow night. C. And, and I mean, what other C is there? You know, like. I mean, Kathy? Did you ask what the danger was? No, I just texted back a little black cat emoji, see? Yeah, what's, did they respond? (laughs) Oh, I haven't checked. You received no response. Oh my god. No. Nothing. It could be... What bridge? Uh, Well, there's only one bridge that you're aware of, which is the causeway that connects Arkham Island back to uh, 
mainland. It uh, connects Arthamai Island to um, the sort of uh, semi-rural area north of Gotham Bay and north of so, Gotham City. So, so Kitty Cat just wants us to get ourselves out of Arkham and meet meet her on a bridge because uh, okay. well, we could have uh, just done this the whole time or something. Maybe I'll okay. Look, look may, uh, right. No, that's a good, good, good question. Didn't think about that. Um, he takes the phone and he's kind of. Uh, um, oh, oh! They didn't just restock the soap. Uh, here, you, give me, get back to me. Hand the phone to Manny. Manny's gonna <laughs> check fucking normal first. <laughs> <laughs> what no, what am I writing? You need to add an ellipses at the end, or else. No, it's... no. <laughs> Do we even know if it's, you know, Catwoman? We did almost just die in the freaking cafeteria. Yeah. Wouldn't you think oh. it's kind of a obvious trap? Well, we well, could I ask. I guess I could like a- ask who it is first. Is there any hacking I can do? Is that how that works? Can, Ooh, I, can I run a trace? Trace the text. I think Ed's probably yeah, you subscribed can, you can to, to a good something. number of like tracing, you know, softwares. Um, Ed, is this your phone or uh, did she plan it? No, I mean, I, 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 no, they took my phone. This isn't mine. I just found it. it was in my room. All right. Well, at least Wait. you know she can break in. She could break in to put the phone in, but she couldn't just talk to you in person. Get you out. Nah, I don't like this. Someone planted that. Maybe she prefers to communicate via text message. You know, or she could have just paid someone off to plant the phone. That's also possible. Yeah, the guards are about it has about have about as much integrity as a crumbling garter and a collapsed train bridge. I mean, oh, we did look, see that yesterday. We're in the look, we're okay. We're in a much better position than we were in before. I have a phone now, so I can, you know. That's that's this. These are small computers, you know. When, when I was growing up, we didn't have these. We didn't have these. They're really powerful. So uh, there's a lot I can do with this. Um, I, I, I know it's truly astonishing the things you can do with that machine, other than text. <laughs> so Ed, what are you trying to do specifically? Are you trying to like? look up the number? Are you trying to figure out the location of uh, of where this came from? Uh, or of where, like, the text was sent from? What, I guess the first thing I would do is angle? address his uh, uh, address uh, Jackie and, and, and Manny and all these uh, concerns. You know, like, is this at, who who is this actually coming from? Can we tell? Mm-hmm. Okay. How are you doing that? Um, I think Ed is probably subscribed to like some of those dark web like tracing services. Um, okay, so you want to see so if he'd get trace... the serial number of the phone and he'd be like, Hey, anybody's purchased one of these and you know, where, what shop, physical description, CCTV, that sort of thing. Well, and <clears throat> I would think that if she knows Ed's skill set, then maybe there's something encoded in that information mm, that that's true would in there's case you know you did look the it up notes <laughs> <laughs> well she or she picks it from a place that you no, know yeah, yeah, yeah. or like oh, what's our pawn shop friend ted uh, ted, ted, ted maybe she picked it up from ted i don't know that's yep. true okay yes so can i i uh, make a forum post on the dark web see where <laughs> this thing came from <laughs> Uh, if you want to do that, it's going to take you some time to get any information back. You um, can certainly well, do it, but you're not so going to get I, information back for a bit, just so you know. Um, I do have, uh, this is probably shenanigans, I do have the special ability Inventor, so I gain a die, blah, blah, blah. Okay, or I fill one extra segment on a clock when creating a complex device. Would this count? <laughs> No, you are not creating a device. You are trying to trace the provenance of a device. Okay. Um, well, I guess I could get that started, and then yeah, you you I can see... you you're absolutely welcome to like kick it off, and then you'll get the information later. I'm just I just want to be clear that you're not going to get that information back instantaneously yeah. if that's your method. Okay. Right. And then 
Um, would it be possible to also use the phone or at least start modifying the phone so that um, I really see, I really wish I knew more about technology. Um, <laughs> so that maybe, I guess maybe at the same time, like Ed uses the phone, maybe like, uh, you know, during his downtime, you know, off hours kind of scrolling through uh, forums, you know how people will like post like download keys for games and stuff. Maybe yeah, on sure. this these dark web forums, someone's posted like login info for Arkham Asylum security, like on like 4chan or something, right? Like, <laughs> you know, uh, let's turn off the lights. Let's be crazy. Let's uh, let's open up the cells on block D1. So that's incredibly maybe... specific. Yeah, okay. that sounds like Gotham. <laughs> so you are trying. You're trying to do two very different things. Uh, and I'm going to yes. need a roll for both of them, or each of them, okay. rather, separately. Okay. Because those, what, those like are two skill? completely different things. Um, so, uh, to try to suss out information uh, of where this phone is coming from, because you're doing it socially, uh, you are probably going to be using, I think, Sway. Oh, damn uh, it. <laughs> okay. Because you're, you're trying to uh, convince people to give you information um unless you are unless there's like a database that you're attempting to consult specific more specifically which would be more of a study situation yeah i mean i mean if i can swing it i feel like the second one is definitely like a study uh -huh. because he's like looking through various databases um but unless unless like Ed can access like oh I, I don't know if he's since he, he you know worked for the GCPD he can use the sort of triangulation stuff that they use but I feel like yeah that's also like... an option you've got a lot of different options on the table so okay uh, hmm. which one are you going for uh, if we can get it in the realm of operate or study that would be good so if Ed can try and, uh, you know, get into the GCPD, uh, you know, triangulation database or okay. like that, AT that we're definitely talking about study. If you're, you're trying to like tap into the cell tower information databases, okay. what that will give you is, uh, that gives you location. So you can try to trace back this number and see where the number, where messages were getting sent from. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and we're we're in fortune roll mode because uh, we are we are definitely not. Oh, okay. So am roles. I doing like fortune with insight, or am I just doing a study? Uh, roll? So you're doing a fortune roll with your study rating. Okay. So that's two die, because I have two pips, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's a five and a six. All nice. Right. So with a six, you are definitely able to get back into, like, the police. Uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely illegal wiretapping <laughs> operation. Um where uh, they are able to triangulate um, the the coordinates of different cell phones. Um, I always say the biggest criminals I ever worked for was the GCPD. There you go. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> so, <laughs> no arguments from anybody here. Uh, okay, everyone's just nodding their heads. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so this is uh, so this is pretty interesting, Ed. What you see is what you would expect to see under normal circumstances would be like a list of lots of different geo coordinates sort of stacked down right like this person was this phone was here and it was here and then it was here and then it was here and if you plot them on the on a map you might be able to sort of like trace somebody's rough path um or you could see where somebody was uh a particular phone was at least at different times this phone has one location one geolocation uh and it was at uh, a uh, a particular location in downtown gotham um last night 
uh, sort of early in the evening, so uh, quite a bit before you actually picked up the phone. And if you look at the phone, you can see the text message is time-stamped, and that time coordinates with the time that the uh, the text was sent. Um, okay. There's just this one entry, and that's it. What did you get again? Uh, six. Oh, a six? Okay. With a six, I'll tell you... And a five. Con- a five and a six. Okay. But, with uh, the- yeah. Yeah. yeah, with the, with a yeah. six, I'll tell you the conclusion that you can pretty immediately draw from that is um, this was sent from a burner phone. This is a phone that somebody got. They sent one message to a number that they knew, and that's it. Or at least that's it so far. The, the phone, they appear to have disposed of it. Uh, either they shut it off, or they left it where it was. You don't know, but mm-hmm. burner phone. One message. Oh, okay, to you. so it was sent from a burner phone, which makes sense. Um, but uh, all right, look. Yeah, we were almost killed in the in in you know in the mess hall. But then you know I found this phone. Right, like look, nobody's going to this effort to take us out right they just send in they just pay off the guards to to mark us you know like yeah i don't know i feel like this is the best chance we've we've had in a while (laughs) i do not look at jimmy um (laughs) because i'm ed's like okay just just, ed i I get that but this isn't really a chance all you have is a phone with a text from a burner number and nothing else Unless you can hack us out, I don't see how this is that much different than it's been for the last year. Well, let's look at it another way. What if this is a trap? And what if the people that want to kill us, that we're in danger from, plan to jump us at this bridge? We come prepared. And we just waste them there. And then I guess the worst thing is we don't leave. But, uh... We're not in immediate danger for a bit. Look, I've... I don't know how much longer I could really do this. Wait, you... Wait, no, no, no. You, you, you have Harvey's number, right? I don't have a... Oh, and then she realizes that, like, <laughs> you have the phone. Yeah, look. Come on. You know, do you have like hand sanitizer or something? At <laughs> they, they restock. I, I, I said Ed, they restock the soaps. Ed time. holds the phone out in the rain. See, but look, I, I mean, took a I, shower this morning. It's it was look. It, it's I still not, have a question was... as to how we get onto that bridge. Well, I can once uh, you know. Well, I'll give we can give Jackie some privacy. Um, oh, yeah, to send her text message. Um, let me know uh, if you need any help. Um, composing it, I'm, I'm real good at that. You know that. Uh, I can maybe, I can any see of what you I can, can do. also, I will offer, uh, like you can always ask what you know about the facility. It may require a role, and hey, the role may vary what information uh, you are able to glean or remember, but, like, that's also an option. Hey, David. Yeah. I've been obsessively observing this facility. True. Does Ollie have any uh, recommendations for escape? It is... Give me a fortune roll with your study shtick. rating. What have we learned from the last few failed attempts when we first got brought here? What's changed since we last broke out? <laughs> oh, also, oh, I'm rolling I... two dice. I'm taking the worst of the. Wait, oh I no! Can, can I? I'll, I'll mark a stress to help you out, um, if I can. Yeah, I, I kind of imagine so. Uh, I to do... We're we're okay. talking about a fortune roll, so oh, okay. oh right, yeah, right, we're okay. we're not in a phase of the game where you can start spending oh, stress. Also, I, I I don't know if I forgot to if I mentioned this to you all, but uh, um. My, uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I told you about uh, any of my ex wives, but but one of them, actually my most recent one, uh, is Isabel. She's she's coming she's coming by with with my my daughter uh, Mila today. 
Uh, so, oh. and we're supposed to break out tonight. Yeah, but but uh, she's coming by, you know, in the afternoon. I think probably after Mila gets out of school, and you know, so we can break out later. After, While we're after. in danger, you're gonna have your kid come actively. Well, I mean, were they trying to kill all of us or just Jackie? Do we know? I didn't get the phone. Ed got the phone. For all we know, Ed's the one that's in danger. That's true. To be fair, I, if it I, is if it is the clown, like I'm pretty sure yeah. that hit was all of us. Yeah. You, you know what? Okay, look. After Probably you finish your so text, give me the her. phone, and I'll send another Ed. text. Uh, maybe I'll tell is a, is a, maybe I'll just tell it of to reschedule. I rescheduled hey, the last one. So. If we get out, if you get out, we get to go. You get to go see her anyway, right? Yeah. I, I I don't I don't think she'd be too appreciative of me just showing up, breaking out of Arkham, being like, "Uh, let me see your daughter." You know, it's this sort of coin, coin, court appointed mm. visitation. So, yeah. But 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 no, you're right. I mean, I, I would. <laughs> You're right. My judgment was clouded. I I haven't seen her in a long time. Uh, I, I don't want either of them in danger. So, uh, so uh, hurry up and send your text message. Ed, look, look. I know you mean well, but I I I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know what day it is anymore. But uh, if something was gonna happen, it would have happened already. It, it's on, it's on the phone. I, on the lock. Wait, is that's it? the first time she's seen the date? I think she's gonna look over your shoulder yeah, and be in, like, "It's in Halloween." A while. Yeah. Wait, it's Halloween. Should Wait. the kid be trick or treating anyway? Well, like I said, probably coming after school. So that's a pretty long day. Well, meal is tough. So the longest. Holly, um, you got a six? No, 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 no. I got a five and a one. Oh, um, or well, you five see and a how five. we this, were like, oh. This means six. <laughs> I, I would say that's why I separated it. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Much more depressing. Okay. No, uh, I got it. Ollie. Hey, remember when I said that Ollie wasn't doing too good mentally? Um. Hmm. They remember a lot of stuff about the facility, but not like this is just turned into hyper obsessive memorization of things that don't matter. Yeah, well, you know the guards each have four four uniforms allotted to them. Yeah. You didn't fail. You got a mixed success. A one. You were rolling. They're taking the, they were taking disadvantage. Um, you were rolling this disadvantage. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I did not. Oh, okay. sorry. I thought I, didn't I was catch clear that. on that. Yeah, okay. no, I I do not have I have I have tinker. They rolled so. at disadvantage, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So a one is, uh, you don't know very much. You've been paying attention and you're racking your brain, and none of the details seem useful. Like you have an idea of what the guard rotations are, but they're tight. You know. Uh, yeah you you know like the layout of the island but it doesn't really like you know where you are you know where the high security facility is you know where the medical clinic is you know where the administration building is you know where these things are but um those pieces don't really give you anything to sort of sink your teeth into yeah I think Ollie uh, just kind of like, look, I'll be honest. If if I had if I was able to get out of here, um, I already would have. Well, look, some people are here for decades, you know. Uh, Jackie and, visibly shudders. Dude, give me the only... phone. Give me the phone, Jackie. Just shut up, Ed. 
<laughs> I'm not holding well, the phone. Ed's no, holding the to, phone. Wait, Ed, give I, me I the phone. Said, well, no, hang on. Look, I got. Look, I got to text my ex-wife. Okay. Uh, te- yeah. Uh. Okay. Um. Shit. Okay, Isabel. Um. Do you need help, Ed? Yeah. Look. Uh, For possible hey, security risk. Yeah. Or if you don't want to, if you don't want to scare her, you could just say that you just realized it was Halloween and it's better for the kid to trick or treat today, and you can reschedule for next week. You know, you don't want to rob the kid of trick or treating. Is tonight. it the thirtieth or the thirty-first? Just to be clear. The thirty-first. It is yeah. now the thirty-first of October. Yeah. Um. You don't need to worry them for no re- if if it's for no reason, right? And this way, you're being right. Considerate. It's it's court appointed anyway. She probably probably neither of them want to come. So, uh, yeah, I'll just okay, Isabel. Um, don't worry about the visitation today. Uh, the uh, I'll sign whatever you need to next time. You know, it's Halloween. Uh, take a Trick or treat next for long for me. Well, sh- should I sign it with? It looks like actually like tears up. Sh- should I sign it with love or? Here, um, and I think Manny's gonna reach over and type and just say, "Tell, tell the, tell her I love her." You know what, Isabel? She's she and Mila are the best things to ever happened to me except for you know my four other kids but uh and i fucked that up too but you know we're whatever. standing right here right ed what <laughs> we're right here ed. there's only three of us ollie well unless you count harley it's okay ollie can't count uh too many car accidents <laughs> look you get into you get one or seven concussions and then everybody's like, How many oh. fingers am I holding up, Ollie? How many fingers? And I, I give Ollie the phone. Ollie's going to snap off a text message to... Mandy's going to give Ed, like, a hug. Yeah, uh, well, Ed, you Ed, press yeah. send. Three from before. The message could not be sent. Ugh. You have a little exclamation point in a red circle. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, she probably changed the number. I don't know. I don't mi- Yeah. All, so Ollie's gonna take it and try to send a message to um, uh, I think to the uh, um, I'm trying to figure out I think you can technically, there is ways to message stuff so it prints out a fax. Um, You're faxing stuff? What are okay. you faxing? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Look, I, <laughs> Does Ivy not have a phone? It's not Ivy. It's Scraps. I gotta let Scraps know. Oh, yeah. And he doesn't know how to use a phone. He does not want a cell phone. He won't let a cell phone. Just don't. It's a whole thing. But this I know there's like to... an email to fax situation. Yeah, but you so can send this... an email and it goes as if, a fax. And all he's typing, that typing out like, "Hey, old man, um, it, it's, it's your jackass. <laughs> we're, uh, we're like, might be, might be headed your way a little hot. If you can, text this number and sends the number of uh, this phone." and uh, just hit send. Does that go through? Give me a roll. Fortune roll. Uh, I think we are looking at... uh, Use the force, Ali. (laughs) Probably tinker. You're tinkering with a phone. I have a point. (laughs) Oh, no. Okay, at this point, I'm I've got to stop rolling ones at some point. Oh no. Uh, Is it this no. point? No, it's not this point. <laughs> I've I rolled like two sixes and the rest of everything else has oh, basically no. been ones. Yeah, I should just stop uh, rolling dice. Nobody let me do anything. I think Yeah. All right. Uh another uh another message could not be sent. Uh Hot. little red exclamation point. 
Um, this phone may be, uh, the texting may be disconnected. The, yeah. The text you may know, have been shut off. Maybe I should- Ed, did you hack it too good? Uh, maybe I should just take it a, take it apart for parts and, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of things you can do with one of these, so. I mean, I can, that I is can try to filch one off a, a guard that if we know somebody that has anyone seen any guard sneak phones in for themselves? I mean, I don't know. I guess Ed has been watching the guards, trying to get familiar, friendly. You know, wants to know the office gossip. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I could, I could try affairs. to pick a pocket. It's been a while, but I'm sure I can do it. If that'll help you put things together, I don't know. No, I, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Do, do I uh, know where I could potentially get another phone? Uh, let's have a roll. Study your memory. <laughs> okay. This is a fortune roll. No. Do, do you do one of these moments? Yeah. To, to, <laughs> oh, make, to make visually sure. yeah, apparent your thinking? Palace. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tell us about Ed's Apparently brains palace. don't work unless you touch them. Did That's you know true. That? Yeah. You gotta activate them. Ed's mind palace is... <laughs> A Dave and Buster's. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, and Perfection. each of the different machines are, you know, different, oh, different memories. Yeah. So uh, I got a four and a three, but I, yeah, so a four, a four. Uh, four? Okay. Mixed success. Uh, so, Ed, you've definitely noticed uh, a guard uh uh, using their phone at some distance. Mixed success? It's the Meg. Ah! Yeah, um, you, you've certainly once or twice through some security glass seen the Meg sending a text or two on her phone. Does, does anybody know anything about the Meg? Like, uh, I mean, we know she's an absolute unit, but, and, and, and I think, I don't know if she's like, with the shock, or if they're taking a break? Yeah. Are, are, are they usually? on or off? Does how how know? angry does Meg seem? I, I will <laughs> say Jackie and the Meg have an interesting relationship, having she used to be a guard in Blackgate, of which Jackie is, was many a revolving door resident. Yeah, like you when, you know, you and the Meg have something of a personal relationship. You it's absolutely like know a each friendship? other. I don't know. It's complicated. She hasn't you, tried you to You each have like, a weird respect me, for each so. other, I think. I mean, we we've interacted with her. Yeah, before. I did her a favor one time. Mhm. Yeah, yeah, that got messy. <laughs> Most of the favors that people ask me for are usually the messy kind. <laughs> That's true. Maybe could, uh, uh, what if you like challenged her to like a arm wrestle or like a duel, you know, or I like could just talk to her and uh um, you know, Manny could maybe Sneak into the back pocket and grab the phone. We could do a little distract. Uh... Oh, are oh, we right. actually like, considering you, this? Yeah, oh, is this really me? happening? What if you like punch me and then? Uh... Well, he... no. here's the question: and, Is and... sorry, go ahead. Is Why the phone we... the most important thing we need right now, or should we be focusing on something else? That's a I'm great just, question. I'm staying within my skill set. Uh, Look, you know, I've... I know gadgets. I know hacking. I know, I, I, you know, tinkering. Uh, uh... If, if we're even considering this, and I'm not saying that we should, given how, you know, the last few times we've tried to get out of here went, but she does lift up her shirt just so very briefly so you can see the shiv that she has in the waist band and then quickly pulls it down. It's not just my fists this time. So I guess that's something. You see, Ollie gives a little smirk um, and leans back up against the rail, like this old stone <laughs> railing and uh, pulls up the pant leg on their, um, of, of their, of their jumpsuit, revealing a spork and uh, gives a little, Man. Yeah, that tracks. Okay, 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 okay. I no, the the gears are turning. I have an idea. Okay, uh, if if we could open the doors, um, you know, and get get us out, right? You guys are you're you're equipped. Yeah, we can find our way out, but we've we've, we've thought that before. Well, we I, th I think we do need 
to get Ed, if you could get into the system and open some doors. I will door. say specifically, you have not tried to escape since you've been in here. If not you this had, time. we would be playing that game. Yeah. Okay. But okay. we've broken out before. Well, we've broken think, people out before. I'm pretty sure, like, Jackie has, like, tried to, but never got really far into it before immediately getting caught and yeah. slammed back into her cell. So, like, escape attempt used yeah. loosely as broke out of her cell, like, once or twice, and then just got repeatedly slammed back into it. Yeah. M- Manny hasn't tried to leave because Manny would not try to leave unless she knew there was a way Harley was going to get to come out with yeah. her. Okay. Um, I don't even think we ever got that far in any yeah, of our so we never got schemes. That far. Yeah. <laughs> but does, um, okay. what do we collectively know about our bosses? That it isn't hotly. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good question. It what, the short list or the long list? Very My little. Boss. Very, very little. Um, you have been essentially cut off from contact. Uh. Ollie with, uh, from Ivy, uh, Jackie, you certainly haven't heard anything from Harvey. Um, you don't really have much information about either of their whereabouts, status. You haven't had a conversation with either of them since you've been in here. So what are the circumstances that we ended up in here? Um, I don't know if we've actually talked about that. Some minor arson terrorism charges, maybe. Yeah, we, we don't need to get into that in we too much We did some detail. shit, it's okay. So they don't we know. can, we can move on. know where we are. Yeah, it wasn't the huge explosion that destroyed, like, an entire waterfront. We, had, we didn't, we we didn't get secreted away to prison. Like, they know where we are, right? We, I guess we went to court. I think that's what we're asking. Did yeah. we go to court, or are we just here? We I cut mean, Bruce you, Wayne off in traffic. You escaped... <laughs> You escaped from Arkham previously, and you were never recaptured until you were recaptured. So oh, that's a good we point. We did technically get ourselves put into Shit. Arson, so you're saying Arkham, we so didn't? We, we're, so you're saying we didn't go to court? We just got snatched. I mean, you may have, you know, you may have had court dates for the subsequent crimes that you've committed. Yeah. But for the string, yeah, <laughs> the large number. The things I mean, we did after we broke out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah, it yeah. would yeah. make sense for at least someone to know where Ed is because of the whole child support. Yeah, thing clearly and, like, somebody visitation. knows where you are. But I don't know for everybody else. Like, if you yeah, don't have like those Ed, you then... you in low security, you have you know you have visitation rights, um, and you know you you have a regularly scheduled visitation with at least one of your kids, uh, if not more. That uh, that I will leave to you, but. Uh, you know, people know you're in Arkham, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the rest of you, it's, you it's don't almost know. Almost worse. Um, uh, you haven't heard from people. Uh, you know, Jackie, you certainly haven't heard from your sister, who uh, is very <laughs> upset with you. Yeah. Uh, but you wouldn't expect to either. Um, so she could very well know, be, be fully aware that you're back in Arkham. Mm-hmm. You um, don't know. Well, and Manny, the only person who would need to know that Manny is an Arkham is an Arkham, too. Um, and we're exactly. obviously not going to leave without her. So here, here's my question. Ed, if using the phone that you have, if you could... I think if we need to get out, I don't know. My inclination is the more chaotic, the better. If you can get all the doors unlocked at the same time, cause chaos, a distraction... If we have a plan, we can get out, maybe. And do it in the maximum a... facility. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking get Harley and everybody else out. Let everybody deal with that. And then we get out. But while... how do we get to Harley before the gods do? I guess, well, and also the issue with that is... Um, yeah, I, I, I the it's going to be harder to hack into the maximum security prison than low and or are you know wing excuse me but location. it's not all on the same security network i don't know how this stuff works uh i guess there's different levels you know um I it's guess worth it really- a shot isn't it at least now yeah. we've got a phone we didn't have that before 
Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I'm so saying think, this. Right, it's a little you computer. Think, you you think said it's a little computer. Security, or should I try to open all the doors? Or I think all of them. All's better than nothing. All, all right. chaos everywhere at the same time. Um, David, sure. do I happen to know when's the next time I'm going to see Harley? Uh, great question. Um, that I think you can call. All right. Well, um, it's Thursday. Normally, I, maybe we have like one outdoor rec time together or something. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you you probably have like. Uh, I mean, I think Ed probably has uh, a weekly. I mean, if you're seeing more than one kid, maybe uh, a monthly visit scheduled with each kid or group of kids. Uh, yeah, that happens once a week. Manny, uh, maybe you and Harley have a uh, a regular visit that you're allowed. Yeah, we're on each other's week. mental health plans for our shrinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I can I can give her the heads up that when things go sideways, she should not focus on the chaos and focus on meeting us. And where exactly is it that we want to meet? We can meet back here, maybe. As close to the bridge as we can get. I mean, I don't, gotta, I don't want her we to gotta find her way out her alone. Yeah, uh, maybe in between our wings. Maybe on the closest side to the bridge, uh, since it is like a, I don't know, it's just a point outside of the, like not on the other side, but on the closer side. I don't know. I, I personally am always more comfortable higher up because, you know, people don't tend to look up. Well, if you can get us onto the roof, well then. Well, I'll say if we can get on the roof, maybe that's the way we. I'm not. You know, I'll leave the the, the acrobatics. That's your department. Uh, you know, you if can people get on our tails, I'll... I'll just. Oh, uh... I just meant take the stairs up, and then we can break into the roof access. I can break it. Break it. I can break. How do How do we get down? <laughs> Or how do I get down, I guess, is my question. Jump, we'll catch you. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll just do that. Listen, right. I just think that people are less likely to look up for people running out than they are to look no, on the ground right. floor. And, and it's you know a good I idea. Think, I think we're, we're, we're over, we're overthinking this. We don't have this, we don't have that much time. Yeah, we're gonna have to do we this. We just gotta do it. We, that's what we do. We wing it, and then yeah. it turns out mostly fine. And if it doesn't um, work, it's just another week in solitary. Woohoo! Who cares? Oh, you Time is meaningless. Solitary? Who? Jackie. That's, oh. Have uh, they not been putting you guys in solitary? Is that just us? No. No, not me. Not me. <laughs> Great. Every fucking time. Mm -hmm. Listen, I gotta behave or else they're gonna they're not gonna let me see Harls. I can't lose that. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, they just they, I don't know. They they're, they're pretty friendly around me. Ollie, yeah. Ollie and Jackie with a thousand yard stare of like we have seen some things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, no kidding. This is not or a spa. Not seen. Not seen uh, <laughs> Ollie got very buff because there was nothing else to do. This is the most active and talkative you've seen Jackie in the last several months. Look, I'm fucking over this. Like, you know I, what, me too. I've got I'm better gonna... things to do. We need to get the fuck out of here. Look, yeah, let's just, get the just, fuck out. Can you, like, cover me for a second? Like, huddle up while I do some, sure. like, hacking on this phone? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Everybody just... act casual. Yeah. I don't know. Pretend I'm, I don't know, meditating. I'm starting I'm to get this. I'm having a psychological breakthrough. Uh, <laughs> here. I... While we Hack? cover the Ollie, let's go over here and I'm going to teach you how to do a handstand, okay? <laughs> sure. Uh, I feel like Manny is one of those obnoxiously flexible people who's like doing splits for no reason anytime yeah, they, like, oh, they can. Yeah, yeah, you're just like, oh yeah, you just do this. And you I know think those people <laughs> just do it. It's fine. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Just do it. Yeah, <laughs> just, it's easy. Just do it. It's Some of like us have joints. Oh, and have 10. Scar, yeah, it's fine. And scar and then you're doing a, a, a headstand splits. It's fine. Um, so, uh, Mr. DM, sir, may I, GM, <laughs> sir, may I, may I hack? May I hack, please? What is your goal? What are you, what are you hacking into? What are you trying to achieve? Just trying to open Arkham the doors? Arkham security system. I would like to open the doors. 
Um, oh god. And then okay, wait, so you're, wait, 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 we're doing that right now. Y'all no, are no, doing no, no, this no, no, right no. now, then. No. <laughs> no, wait. Like, I, I just I'm, want the access. Can. We gotta get no. out of here today. That no, was the no, message. No, I need to correct? talk to Harley first. Well, what? Yeah, and what time is it? Because. It's like the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of uh, mid morning. Yeah. So, could I just get access? Yeah. Okay. Access. Oh, and then that you can, can pull, then pull the trigger later. Later. Yeah, yeah. That I could then trigger later. Yes. Okay. Yes, but this is going to be an action roll. So. Oh, okay. Okay. So, if you want to get, uh, and what doors do you want access to? Uh, you, like you said, there are kind of levels here, and you can sort of attempt to get through different levels of security to get access to different stuff. Um, so you kind of have to, you kind of have to figure out what level of access you want to go for here. Um, shoot for the moon, I guess? Um... Mm -hmm. I would like the maximum access that I could uh, obtain. Um, so I guess, you know, if I can uh, get access to some of the prison or some of the cells in maximum security, um, the cells in medium and like the cells in lower, that would Actually, what if I did the maximum security cells and the medium security cells, but left the low security cells out? So you guys could come pick me up. That way, like, I'm not necessarily implicated. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, the lower security people who, I don't know, uh, maybe I'm just thinking, like, maybe there's some some narcs, you know, amongst, amongst the patients in low security. I don't know what it is. Um... And then I guess if I could also get access to the audio, uh, like, you know, like the PA system so that I can play, I don't, I think I'm over Frozen 2, like the Frozen 2 soundtrack, but maybe if I could play, like, I think it's in Kanto time. It's in Kanto now, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely in Kanto. Yeah. Uh, your definitely. kids are obsessed with in Kanto now. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. Um, in Kanto for sure. Um, we don't Great. talk about Bruno. On yeah, it's it's we don't talk about Incredible. Bruno. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna inject that into the system. Great. Okay. So it's in my head now. Thank you. Uh oh, that it was our, our wedding thing. day. Stop. Uh, so oh, that's fun. a lot of stuff. I you know I love my shenanigans. I am going to ask you to start with a tinker roll to tinker with the. Uh, to start wirelessly tinkering with the systems. Uh, these are level three systems. Okay. So you're so, down two to start. Okay. Um, can I push myself? I was going to get uh, one Yes, dice, you then... can absolutely push yourself. Okay, so that's two stress, right? Two stress and you get uh, one die. Could I try to help... Or assist in this situation, even if in it's just way? to help you with the new phone that you seem a little bit unfamiliar with. Like, this is not your usual thing that you might use. So I'm just sort of helping you with the hardware of the phone. While Ed, also Ed, Ed like is an Android you. guy. And this is an iPhone. I mean, I think Ed is like, uh, honestly, this is very true to life for me. Uh, my My own father is like a huge tech nerd but he cannot work his phone. So this is very <laughs> true to life and very accurate to daddom. Um, yeah. Ed, you are used to doing things via, like, command line. You are used to, like, getting into systems I don't and, look. like, manually, like, rewiring them. You are not used to this, like, iPhone, Android nonsense where What's an airdrop? you can't what find apps <laughs> and you need to like uh you need to like you know swipe through things to get to stuff it makes no sense to you it's it's not intuitive what is intuitive to you is typing in a bunch of command lines so yeah jackie i'm gonna give this to you uh mm -hmm. pay one stress 
Uh, well, I've got the special I've got you. So oh, as yeah. long as okay. as long as I can talk somebody through a problem, I can yep. pay without doing any stress to myself. So okay. I think you keep asking me Jackie, to set up just, face ID. I don't just just hit the X button in the corner. It's not that hard. Just look, tap, done. It's gone. Oh, keep okay. going. Oh no, okay, yeah. No, I, I had it. It's, I got I got it. All right, roll them. Uh, okay, so that's a one, a five, and a six. So it's nice. Six. Okay, cool. So, uh, goodness, for that help. Oof, we needed that six. A six uh, is going to give you a back door into the local security systems for the um, the main building, which is where medium and low security patients are kept, and the high security building uh, elsewhere on the island. So you now you now have basic security access to those buildings. Okay. Um, um so we I have basic security access uh so does that mean uh I have I now have to go looking for the door controls um and the PA system? Or maybe, or what? What? You, what do I? What does this get me here? Uh, so you now have the ability to um, unlock and lock things. Okay. Uh, if you have, well, I was thinking, Ollie and I can go scout for ways up to the roof. If you can unlock stuff, you could also unlock any electronic doors that would. Uh, for roof access, right? Yeah, uh, probably. Can't. Yes, 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 I can. Um, Should... I mean, do, do we want to do that now, though? No, no, I just I just mean that it, when the time comes, we can make sure to also unlock the roof access. So once if... we get Harley and get back here, we can go up. You know, if I can, I think I'm just going to unlock every single door I possibly can. There you go. I think that works. Yeah. It almost sounds like a plan. All right. I know, well, it's crazy, right? Kind of makes me feel all tingly. David, where do Harley and I meet? That's a great question. Where do you meet? Uh, I mean, I think there's probably like you probably actually meet in a designated uh, visitation room. All right. Right. Well, I mean, so I could just tell her. There's to probably meet a a, uh, a visitation room in the like high security facility that you are brought to. Okay. Um. Yeah. Maybe I just tell her to meet us. We'll just tell her to meet us right outside there, and then you know, well, if we're heading back in, they're not gonna. They're going to be trying to drag people back in. So if we're trying to escape by coming in and then going up, they might not stop us from coming back in. When and how are you going to convey this information to Harley? When I meet her for visitation. Okay. Uh, so is that evening. just conveniently today? Yeah. I'm going to make you roll for that. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I asked what it was going to be. You said that's up to you. And I'm like, well, in that case. You asked how frequently it was. Oh, okay. Fine. What if oh, your I'm cell every was like seven minutes? What if your cell was like across from Holly? So like we could take, um, we could pop out one of the <laughs> lenses of Ollie's sunglasses, and we could kind of flash with the with the ca- the phone camera, like, and we could do like Morse code. That's She's so smart. romantic. <laughs> that is you so could what certainly if, try. What if what if we put notes on our windows to each other, like the little noted app, but with windows? We're like, I love you, baby. What are we gonna write? Having it a good blood? day. Blood? I was literally about to say guard blood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, okay, okay, what about so Roland? If, if you would like to see if your day is uh, very conveniently today. Wait, um, wait. Okay, I sorry, think that's no, just going to be a straight up fortune roll. Like, there's there's nothing about your skills that can influence no, this. This is just luck, yeah. right? This is just pure blind dumb luck. So, All right. 1d6. Oof, that's a three. Three, no. But uh, what's your wedding song? What's your What was your wedding song? Uh, if I can hack into the PA system, the first song I play before, obviously. Ah, we won't talk about Bruno, that's we can't, so really, that's a good idea. Yes, and then she'll know to come to us. 
but she doesn't know where. Well, she's smart, you know, me, me, medium. Well, I think that if if she hears it, she's gonna try to head towards uh, towards me. So we gotta know what we gotta know what the wedding song is now. Yeah, who wants to help me brainstorm that? I'm not. Gonna I have that. a suggestion, and that <laughs> suggestion is absolutely whichever Carol? whichever Kesha song references uh, brushing her teeth with a bottle of Jack. Oh, TikTok! Incredible. Morning. TikTok. Ah, it is TikTok. Incredible, incredible, yeah, incredible. Yeah, that that absolutely tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a note of that. So am I. <laughs> Wake Andy up in Harley's. the morning, feeling like P Diddy. <laughs> Wow, I just jackknifed from the Cordettes to Kesha in my in my internal brain <laughs> uh, soundtrack, and uh, that is a uh, a leap. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Manny, you uh, you met Harley yesterday, so oh, you're not shit. scheduled to meet for another week. Um. But yeah, she hears. I think if she hears TikTok after all these years, um, she's gonna know it's a message and head this way. I think, I think we just have to find her outside and bring her in. It's better than nothing. Better than nothing. All right. So it seems like you have the beginnings of the germ of a plan. Something like that. Yeah. You know when... what? This is about as good as our plans have ever gotten. That's true. Ah, you know when what? This is actually pretty good. Do you in put terms this of into we... action? Probably. Around, yeah, that's a good idea. It's a I, tonight, tonight? Would, yeah, after the visit with, like, uh, straight up, I will not participate in anything before, like, my child leaves. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ten so, o'clock? like, six so or like seven? Six. Yeah. I want the sun to be done. You know, well, I guess it's October. The sun does set. By that. Yeah, you're good. So. Don't worry about it. We can blow up the sun. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's listen. I'm in. I'm in 10 p.m. That's sunshine how we get the Justice League on our tail. <laughs> Very confusing. Uh. So, Ed, uh, let's just get a brief, uh, a brief scene. We cut to later. In the day, uh, you are in the um, in the visitation area. I think because you are a low security inmate, this is actually just sort of like an open lounge. Uh, you know, it is in Arkham, so it is uh, it is both gothic and institutional uh, in in nature. Uh, there is both wood paneling and fluorescent lights, um, but. Uh, the uh, the door opens and in runs uh, your adopted daughter, um, Mila. What Halloween costume is Mila wearing? Oh shit! Um, <laughs> I think she's just dressed up as a cat. I, in honor, I think I dressed up as a cat when I was like a little five-year-old kid. Um, ha- like it's not a really good costume. Like you know, her mom's yeah. black eyeliner, right? For the nose, headband, and whiskers, headband, little yeah. tail, headband with cat ears. She's got a little tail. She's dressed in like a black leotard, uh, and you know she has her um, her little Halloween bucket. Uh, how old is she? I think she's five. oh crap oh crap oh crap um hang on I whatever have... you say now will be what it is so just say what's oh. in your heart uh she's what's what's 51 minus 43 eight she's nine <laughs> great okay she's nine so she runs in uh Daddy, daddy! Uh, and she runs up and uh, wraps her arms around you. Oh, you got me. Let me look at you. What are you? You're a cat. That's great. I love cats. That's it. Show me your, show me your, show, sh- give me a meow. Give me a yeah. kiss. Check it out. I did this myself. 
Uh, and she she sort of whips this felt tail around. Pretty good, right? That's amazing. You look just like... Uh, oh, there's a... Oh, who let a cat in here? Who let a cat in? The, uh, excuse me, gods. There's a, there's a cat. There's just a stray cat in here. One of the guards kind of looks over at you like... Uh, Uh, and There's Isabel follows uh, Mila in, uh, and she looks less than pleased to see the state of you. Uh, Ed, uh, tell us about Isabel. What does she look like? Um, Isabel is. I had a photo. Um, she is, uh, you know, an older-ish, not older, but, you know, um, probably, like, early 40s, um, Hispanic, uh, woman, dark hair, um, sort of dusky skin, uh, very, uh, dark brown eyes that are kind of warm most of the time. Now they're kind of just, like, a little bit narrowed. Um, and she's very, you know, put together, uh, probably wearing, um, you know, a A-line skirt, uh, you know, suit jacket, probably, uh, uh, got off of work early to pick up Mila. Um, so, uh, and she's beautiful, just absolutely very stately, gorgeous, um, hair's probably back in, like, a French braid, like, very thick and dark. Um, Ed's probably like <laughs> looking at her like she is the sun. Um, yeah, and she crosses her arms and she fixes her gaze on you and she says, what the hell happened to you? Oh, I uh, you look crazy. You look like you I, fell down a flight of stairs. I did. I fell down multiple flight of, flights of stairs and there were sparks at the bottom. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. This is Three, three sparks. Yeah. What have you been yeah. doing in here, Ed? What have you been doing? Huh? Mostly Come on, just... I bring the kid in here and you show up looking like this? Are you kidding me? Look, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's not... This isn't how I wanted... Was It wasn't... <laughs> it wasn't my choice. I... I whatever my word is worth to you anymore i swear uh um and he's like just kind of like squeezing mila and like wrestling her like ah, i'm giving you a noogie but also covering your ears look uh we can talk about this when she's not here but i, I... okay fine we'll talk about it when she's not here Thank you. I brought her here to see you. It's a Halloween, Halloween I'm not costume. here to see you, Ed. I'm well aware. All right. Well, take your time, and then uh, we're going trick-or-treating, so, you know, move it along. Yeah. She kind of crosses her arms and backs up a little bit. Of course, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> you, I bet you got your route all planned out, kiddo. Uh you know, uh, oh, trick or treat in here in Narkom? Yeah, yeah, we do. See, this, 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 co it's cause it's makeup. Yeah, my friend uh, Manny did it for me. It's so realistic. Look, t touch it. It's not real. It's <laughs> like, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know, Dad. You look a little messed up. <laughs> this is what they call acting. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at you like she's getting a little old to believe Yeah, she's this. like... <laughs> uh, you know. Sometimes you you, you fall down, you, you trip. You, 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 your dad's clumsy. Uh, but I don't want you to worry about me, okay? It's... I, uh... You know. <laughs> they gotta get somebody in here to do construction, you know? Get some guardrails, you know. I'm so old. <laughs> Get me a cane, right? Yeah, she looks kind of concerned. She go, she holds you, hugs you a little tighter, and says, "Okay, just be careful, Daddy. Okay." Always, sweetheart. Always. 
I'm the most careful man there is. And she pulls away, uh, looks back to Isabel, who's like, "All right, come on, on. we gotta, we gotta get you trick or treating, kid." Oh, you make sure you get lots of candy. Don't give any to the dog. Remember what happened last time? Well, I guess that was uh, that was two two years ago. But uh, you know, you you remember. (laughs) Yeah, and Isabel kind of ushers her out into the into the hallway, turns back around, looks at you. Later, we're gonna talk, okay? Okay, and... Izzy. Oh, wait, did you change your number? What? Did you no. change your? Okay. I'll I... um. I'll... And I swear, I swear. And she turns around, uh, and is is headed out. And. Hmm. Ed walks back see, into the fours, into the rec fours, room. Fours, fours, fours. I've been sitting here wanting to know what the fuck those fours were gonna do. Uh, Nothing good. As you hear the sort of outer door of the visitation area close, Ed, uh, there is a crack of thunder from the storm outside and everything plunges into darkness. Oh god. Oh. And yeah, uh, you can hear uh scuffling, commotion, you hear some some people yelling elsewhere in the facility, some uh some guards uh kind of shouting to each other like, "Okay, somebody get a flashlight. Somebody get a flashlight in here." Goddamn lights went out. Um, I'm sorry, did you say, like, this is just after it's ended? So, like, is she not... Are they not out of the facility? As far as you're aware, they are not. Fuck. Okay, okay. (laughs) Okay, everything's fine. And there's uh, a little bit of silence. Uh, You know, all of the sort of machinery... Uh, it's, it's just people sort of shouting and scuffling around. Uh, the, the guard, uh, I think, uh, who's in there, who was in there with you is like, God damn it, I didn't even go, goddamn flashlight, what the hell? Uh, and then there is kind of an electric hum, and then the whir of all of the HVAC equipment coming back on, and the room is flooded by these dim red emergency light Hmm. and there is a crackle and a tap tap uh, of the Arkham Asylum PA system coming on and you hear hello this is Dr. Jonathan Crane I am now in control of this facility all of you Patients and staff have the honor of being subjects in a little experiment that I'll be running. I suspect the psychological evaluations that I acquire will be most interesting. But don't worry. All you have to fear is what you've brought with you. And at that point... You hear a hiss from that rebooted HVAC system. Some kind of gas is being pumped into the room. Ed, like, pounds on the door. Mila, Isabel, cover your mouth and nose. Don't breathe. Get out. Get out. And that is the last shot that we're going to get for this session. Ed. (laughs) pounding on this locked door as the hiss of this gas just seeps in in the background. No. Well, thank you, everyone. How could you do this to me? I don't like it. Question mark. Thank you so much Uh for joining (laughs) us here on Manapod Studios for the first 
session of Streets of Gotham. Uh, Streets of Gotham will be running every Monday. We will have a new episode every other Monday. And then in between, we will be rerunning the previous week's episode with live chat. So you can join in uh, in the live chat if you didn't catch the previous week's. Our next live episode is going to be on July 5th. Uh, We will be switching to a Tuesday temporarily, just shifting it one day forward to uh, skip the 4th of July holiday. Uh, And then we will be back to Mondays at 8. In the meantime, uh, you can always head over to youtube.com slash Studios to watch some of our past games, including the original Escape from Arkham series that inspired this new show and once again i have been david uh you can check out my games over at dbb-8.itch.io including in the dark which is a simplified multi-setting version of blades in the dark that we've been playing tonight i'm also on instagram and twitter at d brunel brutman um and with that uh i will throw it over to my cast for their final plugs, shoutouts, and sign-offs. Let's uh, start it with Pooja. Hello, everybody. I am Pooja. You can find me over on the internet at Pooja on Twitter and at Pujabrawaki on all other platforms, including Twitch, where I sometimes stream cozy games or play Mario Kart with people and yell really loudly. Um, I am going to be in a bunch of places uh, coming up. Um... I think the most interesting one for this week is a charity stream. I'm going to be playing on playing in this Thursday. Um, uh, we're going to be playing a game of Thirsty Sword Lesbians. And the money is going to go towards a great cause, uh, an LGBT freedom, LGBTQ freedom. Uh, you can get all the details over on my Twitter as long as all of the... Uh, other places i'm gonna be all that information just stay tuned to twitter because that's where i post stuff awesome let's go on over to hopper that is me i will even take off my sunglasses and blind myself what's up still me stall hopper sorry about that it's a terminal diagnosis um i am here um every other sunday uh, on the hole in the world um with along with marcy and uh, and then uh, I'm often here on Tuesdays with on Flights of Fandom. Um, not on this month's stream. This month's stream, it's awesome. It's Bioshock. Marcy can yell at you about it. Um, but uh, if you'd like to see the other stuff I do, I stream over on The Legend Tree, um, which is my, uh, my little pet project, where mostly I just wrangle my friends into having fun, and then I do bad things to them, I guess, is kind of the vibe. Um, uh, that's, that's currently the vibe. Uh, I think t- this week's Gloomhaven stream may be canceled, but we may be wrangling together a one shot, uh, our TTRPG on Tuesday. Um, but so stay tuned, uh, and follow me on social media under the legend tree everywhere, except for fucking Facebook. It's fuck Zuckerberg. Um, great. Yeah, that's it. That's all, all right. Going up to Marcy. Hey guys, uh, I'm still Marcy. Uh, you can still find me around the internet under the username Experimental Madness, except for Twitter, uh, where technically my username is Marceful, but I'm never there. <laughs> um, oh, wow, this was fun. I can't wait to harm these characters some more now permanently. Um, I think it's, it's going to be great. Um, yeah, like uh, Hopper said, uh, tomorrow we're back at it again here on Manipod Studios uh, for the penultimate episode of Bioshock Cypher. Uh, my first time GMing, and David is one of my wonderful cast members, and uh, we've got some exciting stuff coming up, so do stay tuned uh, for more of that. Just join us right back here, same time, 8 p.m., uh, for more shenanigans. That's all I got tonight. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm Maddie, um, <laughs> Cellar Tater. I'm on the internet, mostly on Instagram, Cellar Tater. Check me out. I do art. Sell the art. This art? I did this art. Um, anyway, Cellar Tater on Instagram and Twitter, but mostly Instagram. 
Um, and I've been playing Ed, and I will be Ed again June 5th, but until then, I will be Maddie. With that, we will sign <laughs> off, and we will see you next time. Good night. <laughs>